I'm trying to bring myself into analog creation. <laughs> I've come back to some paper and pen. <laughs> I need to remind myself of the point. So tonight I'm putting some music on and I'm drinking some beer and I'm going to have a few nighttime hours of like creating away from technology. That is tonight's um, purpose. What is my sweet little head? Because it's not sweet at all. It is loud and mean and sometimes lies to me. But I love her anyway, because I have to. I can't abandon her because she's in there for good. My sweet little head is the hope that if I am patient enough, she could be something sweet one day. When I call her sweet now, it's not the endearing kind. I wish it could be. It's something darker. It's my confusion. It's the sanity that's locked in there somewhere deep. Sweetness is not even close to what I am. It's what she can't be, what she couldn't be. But how can I be what's locked the sweetness away if I can't get in? My life is a constant case, I'm realizing, of you fell off the horse, get back on the horse. You fell off the horse, get back on the horse. You fell off, I'm sick of getting back on the horse and I'm sick of falling off. It hurts, but I must accept it for what it is. I will always be falling off the horse because I overextend myself. Long projects are great in the beginning, have this rush of motivation, this rush of productivity, and then it's like, hmm, I like the color of that yarn. I'm going to knit something with that now. And then the long project is still existing, still needs me to be doing it, and I'm not doing it. Because the horse is, <laughs> it's over there, and I'm still on the floor like, oh, that's a pretty flower. <laughs> it's frustrating, and I just have to, I have to keep it in check and be like, go get your horse. I need to be the horse. The horse in this analogy is life, by the way. Life is either throwing me off, or I'm throwing myself off it. If there's anything I know about the horse, is that it feels harder than it is to keep riding it in a forward motion. It's like, if I just, if I have a 3, 2, 1, do the thing, once I get started, of course I'll go into hyperfocus with that and everything will work out and I'll do some great work. I need to just 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 it. I need to just do it. Do the first step which I feel like is harder than it is. Alright. Second panel. I'm on my second panel. Two, four, six, eight. La la la. I'm doing some one by one ribbing on the ends, just like a couple of rows, so the ends don't curl up, and then stockinette stitch all the way up, and I've got a new graph to go by on the little crown on the back. I woke up this morning and felt extremely unmotivated, and so I was like, you know what, you can have a day of knitting. Because I need to do this as well, um, and I need to do the zine. I do need to be doing everything all at once. Let's not forget why we're here. <laughs> it is totally fine to take the day and get most of this sweater done so that you can shoot the cover.
finished my back panel this morning so it's time to seam together and then we're gonna get started on the sleeves this is what a graph looks like when it's finished with oh i'm gone my friend won't you tell me the answers again my heart bleeds red but there's no point in telling me why no point in telling me why oh can't seem to challenge any thought that leaves my mind guess my receiver damage is all I This has been one of the most rewarding knits I've done in a very long time. And I'm so happy about it. <laughs> this piece has been so heavily connected to my single launch, which at the moment is the object of my attention. And so making something directly for this, I feel like has it's helped me really bring bring myself back to the point of the song and the point of doing any of this um, and really get the feeling across that I've wanted to visually. Because I am doing so much of the of the uh, event side of it with a zine and a music video and photo shoots, at the, at the beginning it was really hard to zone into the point and I couldn't find it um, and I was feeling disconnected from it but making this sweater, making it for this shoot it's functioned as a restriction and it's functioned as a reminder of the why and the, the reason for it, the point of it what is it that I'm wanting to be saying with this song? you know I'm talking about like identity or lack of and the kind of existence of living with like a, a little thin veil over your eyes all the time and not really understanding why you can't connect with your reality not being able to grasp onto the things around you that's what the song is about it's about that state of being not being able to tap in and be present or understand why you can't be just pleased or settled or grounded in your life. A large project is just an accumulation of small little steps and details and elements. Spend the time on the details and the elements and stop looking at the big picture because the big picture every time will change from what you originally thought it was going to be, especially in, a, in art. Get caught up in the details. Find the point, find the reason, really explore the topic that you're trying to explore. If you made it to the end of whatever this is, which I think is me not managing my ADHD very well and then me conquering it, <laughs> or maybe not even really conquering it, I don't know what this was, but thank you for being here. Desperately searching for me